Today we're going to show you how to test your multi-group espresso machine using the test basket. We are using a bottomless handle which is recommended. Ensure all of your group heads are thoroughly cleaned prior to use to ensure that the filter on the tool does not block and cause inconsistencies. We're going to insert the handle into the group head and activate the volumetric. This volumetric setting is set for a 42 ml beverage weight using a 21 gram dose. This will dispense 72 ml from the group head. We're going to record the volume and time to ensure consistency. 45.7 grams in 25 seconds. We're going to run another shot. You must ensure you empty the test basket between each test. You can do as many runs as you like to test its consistency. For this video, we'll do three. We have our three outputs from this group head. Using this particular recipe, we know that if 45.5 grams is dispensed in 25 seconds, we are set at nine bar brew pressure. The consistency of this is 97%, which is well within tolerance. We are now going to move to the next proof head. Thirty-eight point eight in twenty-two seconds. So we can see the volume on this group is low compared to group one. First thing we want to do is try to make the volume the same. You need to reprogram your volumetrics. On this particular machine, I'm able to change the count. So I've changed the volume count, and I'm going to try again. And again, we can see that now getting consistent volumes, the same as group one, 
well within tolerance, so we now know these two group heads are set the same. We'll move on to the third group head. As we can see on this group, we are getting the correct volume, but our time is long. This is indicating our brew pressure is incorrect. I'm going to make a brew pressure adjustment on that, my pump. So we want to increase the pressure. After making a brew pressure adjustment, it's recommended to run the group for a short time to allow the pump to settle. We're going to retest. See after the brew pressure adjustment, our time has corrected and our volumes are within tolerance at 97%. All three groups are now performing the same, volume wise and time wise. This indicates that our brew pressure is correct at 9 bar. I'm now going to demonstrate if the volume and pressure is incorrect on a group head. I've changed the pressure and the volume on this group head for this demonstration. Forty point three in 25 seconds. We can see that this volume is incorrect. First we are going to adjust the volume to be correct. Easily yet this can be done on the MVP, adjusting the pulse count. Let's try again. We can now see our volume is within the vicinity that we are after, but again, our time is still wrong. This requires a brew pressure adjustment. I'm going to adjust my brew pressure and try again. Remembering to briefly run the group head after an adjustment.
25 seconds. You can now see our volumes and times are equal to the other group heads once again. If there are variances, you must adjust your volume first and then adjust your brew pump pressure. Thank you for watching. I hope this video helped you to understand how to use the test basket. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe to this channel. Bye.